Yeah, so the show is over. It was great. It was amazing. I was just crying now already. Because this was exactly what I was wishing for and it was so beautiful. And yeah. they were surprising all the time with everything. And there were flares and balloons and fireworks and beautiful mu music and the night air show with um, fireworks, just everything. So this was like over delivering our tickets. Really yeah. great. So it's amazing. Good morning, morning everyone. Today our mission is to fly to Leszno in Poland because there is a hot air balloon event. I think it's end of uh, competition. Yes. And so today uh, there will be very many hot air balloons on this airfield and the night air show. And night air show and all the yeah people who are coming there for this event are standing just in between all these hot air balloons. So we are quite excited about this. Yes, it surely will be beautiful. All air shows in Leszno are very beautiful, so um, it's especially good to fly, uh, to be able to fly in. So our plan is, yeah, uh, flight time of around three hours, a bit less maybe. Uh, we will fuel now and then head directly to the east <laughs> through the control zone of Hamburg again, and uh, yeah, cross the border after like one hour forty. And yeah, the weather in Poland, there is a cold front moving through. Uh, let you know at this time it's it's already passed, but there are still low clouds. But yeah, we have uh, around three hours until we are there. So I guess the weather will clear up there before we come there. Actually, so will be good. So we are ready for departure here at the threshold runway zero nine. One is on the final on short final, so we will wait for this one, and after that we will go. For Leszno, yeah, approximately two hours fifty-three of flight time. Uh, Leszno still has not the best weather, low clouds at the moment, but I expect that in three hours, clouds will raise up at least one thousand five hundred feet, maybe more. So I think this will be no problem for us. Uh, the MRTs or this military areas are not active today, so we can also descend below one thousand eight hundred feet. So traffic is already airborne, we will go behind, so aligned, full power, power rotations, all instruments green. over the Alster and almost flew into us. I think he didn't see us because we made a rapid descent because he was turning directly towards us and we were rapidly descending and when he got our traffic information he didn't even know we were there. So yeah, yeah. great. Never think that if you're in control zone uh, no. Always you look should out. not look out. Even if you're in control zone you have to look out because the controller was busy talking to someone else because this other plane was talking and talking so he couldn't give him a traffic information. And yeah, so this is how it happens. So, we are above the clouds, right? Level 5.5, five, and so uh, we are about above Mecklenburg for Pommern. The whole way to uh, through the border of Poland looks like this. Yeah, south of Poland, uh, Poznan, there is still uh, the cold front. 
And uh, yeah, so there are still a few lower clouds, yeah, over Leshnol there are still low clouds, but they are slowly moving away. Uh, yeah, we will see, we still have a way to go, like two hours at least. to go down to 3000 due to air spaces. I mean most air spaces are military and they are not active today but few are and in 3000 feet you are above the low military air spaces and below the high military air spaces so 3000 is the perfect uh, altitude there where, the, where you don't have any problems. Also later when you when we are below the Charlie airspace of Poznan then 3000 is a good altitude for us. Thanks information, Delta Echo Golf, Oscar Tango, hello. Delta Echo Golf, Oscar Tango, that's information, did I copy the call sign correctly? Delta Echo Golf, Oscar Tango, correct. Um, Ground I-552 POB on a VFR flight plan from Echo Delta Hotel Echo to Echo Papa Lima Sierra. Uh, passing border in one minute at Ergon, altitude, flight level 55. Um, yeah. Pateco Golf, Oscar Tango, Dansk information, Roger, you are outside of radar cover, say again, 5,500 feet? Correct, 5,500 feet, Pateco Golf, Oscar Tango. Pateco Oscar Tango, Dansk information, Roger, be advised, there is an area for parachute jumping activity over Hoina town, it's a TRA 42, uh, if you wish to enter, you should coordinate with Hoina Radio 120, the symbol 110. Delta Echo Golf, Oscar Tango, we will avoid this area, we fly around it. Uh, just as a request, is the TSA uh, 10 Bravo, 10 Bravo active? Negative, the TSA 10 is not active. Roger, Delta Echo Golf, Oscar Tango. So. We are in Poland now, we just crossed the border. But here is much calmer on the frequency. Yeah, it's less traffic. Yeah. So and now the cumulus clouds are disappearing in front of us. So, yeah, for now we stay at uh, altitude now 5,500, because in Poland the transition altitude is 6,500 feet, in Germany it's 5,000, so since 5,000 we are on flight level, and here in Poland since 6,500. So, as we were flying on flight level 55 in Germany, we crossed the border and now we are on altitude 5,500 feet. Actually, we had to descend to 5,500 because because of the QNH being like uh, 12 hectopascals higher than standard QNH, as uh, standard atmosphere. And we're flying easterly direction. We need to fly on 5,500, 7,500, 3,500. So that's why we chose for 5,500, and it's perfect, yeah. We, there are no airspaces here. There's only this TSA which is not active, so yeah. we can just stay on this altitude. Until the TMA and Yeah, so we stay in the calm air, don't be in the turbulence. Uh, no. Yeah, we are on our oh. target. <laughs> where we are on a map <laughs> yes because in front of us I see all the wind parks and uh, so we are just passing by this um, parachute jumping area here yeah we have the huge dense forest area there yeah uh, we will go above it and uh, on the right side we see this uh, yeah valley <laughs> it's like a valley so there is no forest and uh, this valley will catch up with us to the left and then there is Goshov with Kopolsky. So for now we will have a bit forest.
Yeah, open. because this is really valid. There is a yeah. like bad hard ever. Yes. Uh, okay. Yeah. It's right. pretty easy to navigate. Yes, and this valley will come closer to us, and when it's by us, then we are over above Koshoviko Polski. This is the next bigger town. Uh, we will fly over, so it's kind of easy to recognize. And there's also a few airfields, three airfields around that. And uh, then after this, we will change our course just slightly to the south, 107 degrees, and fly towards Poznan. Yep. So, we take a shortcut now, because Silona Gora is not active. So the airport uh, between us and our destination. So we can stay on our, our altitude and just fly through the airspace because it's now airspace golf here. And so we have a better look onto the clouds because in another way we would have need to descend below. And now we stay for now on this altitude and look how the clouds behave here because now they get lower and lower due to the cold front. And if there are holes and and everything so we have a good overview here and can decide when to go down and yeah this i think makes it a bit easier for us now yeah here we uh, avoid all this air spaces and so on so yeah very good and our arrival time yeah, is like uh, 20 minutes earlier now that's great Over there, the clouds are getting much denser. That's possible, yeah. For the information, the Deco Golf Oscar Tango request. The Deco Golf Oscar Tango, please. The Deco Golf Oscar Tango is the uh, TSA 7 Charlie and is south of Zona Gora active. The Deco Golf Oscar Tango negative, not active. Roger, thank you very much. Okay, so also the uh, also the TSA in the south of Silona uh, Gora is not active, so we can stay on our course and altitude and everything. Good. Yeah, looks like the weather cleared up quite well, as expected. Uh, still a few low cumulus clouds, but they are not so low. I mean, I have the traffic here on the radar, flying all the time around 1,700 feet. That's okay. And then we still have plenty of time until the event starts, so we can refuel, uh, park, put out our tent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, make everything ready. Yeah. So, uh, we are now like 10 minutes before Whiskey point of the ATZ of Leshno. So this is the point where we enter the ATZ airspace for landing. And uh, yeah, as you can see, maybe outside of our windows, the clouds are good. There are many holes between, so no problem for us. We stay still on uh, 5,500 five, 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 five feet. And soon I think we will start descent, look for a nice hole, and uh, let the rest below. key and I expect an orderly runway so or 05 left 05 right or 36 Lesno Radio Delta Echo Golf Oscar Tango hello Delta Echo Golf Oscar Tango Lesno Radio hello Delta Echo Golf Oscar Tango Grumman Alpha Alpha 52 POV on a VFR flight plan from Echo Delta Hotel Echo now one minute northwest whiskey for landing Order, wind is 040 degrees, 8 knots, climate 1026, and the runway, runway is in use 05 left and right. Runway 05 left and right, QNH 1026, Delta Echo Golf, Oscar Tango. One aircraft proceeding uh, left hand surface 205 left, now in downward position. Roger, Delta Oscar Tango. 
Delta Cobra is also tango position. Whiskey at two thousand two hundred feet. Roger. And runway zero five left or right for you? We will take zero five right, Delta Oscar Tango. Just for your information, it's uh, short and uh, about two hundred meters. Roger, Delta Cobra is also tango. All right. So there is Lesno Airfield. I will deploy flaps already. And Delta Oscar Tango is joining base runway zero five right. I'm already put higher. Oh, I've already put higher flaps. I am. Set Oscar Tango, final zero five right. Zero five right is three five hard. We were sitting here on the air show. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I was peeing. Yeah, <laughs> right. Welcome. So can you show me the taxi base, please? Yes. I think next one is just in front of us here. Here's it should be Delta. Yeah. Here's the Delta. Perfect. Delta Oscar Tango indicated via Delta, and you would like to take some fuel before parking. Oh, that's again. Delta Golf Golf Oscar Tango, say again what your intentions. What do you want to park where and how long? Okay. Delta Echo Golf Oscar Tango, uh, we stay till tomorrow. We contacted you yesterday, I think. And yeah, at first we would like to go to the fuel station. Roger. So, to the fuel station to the left in the taxiway Alpha, and I will tell you what to do next after fueling. Left of taxiway Alpha and stand by for further instructions. Delta Oscar Tango. <laughs> Bye-bye. Welcome to Leshno. The funny thing here was we first had to leave the airport through a door and go to the car petrol station that you can see in the background. There you say that you want to fill up the plane and an employee then comes with you to the aircraft petrol station, filling you up and then you go back to the car petrol station together and pay there. Delta Echo Golf Oscar Tango, Lesnar Radio, uh, follow me car, will approach you in a second and you will follow him, okay? Roger, Delta Oscar Tango. We arrived in Leshno. Yeah, the weather cleared up as forecasted. We had kind of high clouds, two and a half thousand feet. I expected like one thousand feet less. Uh, and yeah, it was an easy approach to the huge, really huge runways they have here. Yeah, but this was pretty easy. Now our problem is we have a lot of luggage and we will need to transport it like somewhere over there, like behind the trees. Exactly. So we will need to take a little walk, little workout, and yep. Then we will set up the tent, maybe eat something, and then we are ready for the evening. Woo. Yeah. So, tent is ready. We are also ready. We were already in Biedronka. Just write it down. Biedronka, very important stuff. <laughs> it's like Polish supermarket. So, now we go. Woo. Let's go. So we are now on the air show here. It's quite empty yet. I don't know how many people will be here actually at the end. 
But for now it's very uncrowdy. Yeah, there should be maximum uh, 15,000 people. Uh, so it will be a little bit smaller than Antidotum uh, because I think there are usually like 40 to 50,000 people. So it's really crowdy. But exactly this is the point. It should be romantic, it should be beautiful. And this is the new concept that the audience will sit in between and the balloons and air show and everything will like happen all around. So this is something new. So it's like a big circle here, basically. And yeah, we just walk through. Look for a nice place to sit, to uh, put our blanket and sit and drink and eat and look. Yeah, that's the plan. Yes. So now it's uh, kind of crazy. Yeah, so, many, so many hot air balloons, like everywhere. They were um, like deploying them here. They were also coming uh, as a part of the competition. It's just crazy. Everywhere you look, there are balloons, like everywhere.
Yeah, so the show is over. It was great. It was amazing. I was just crying now already. Because this was exactly what I was wishing for and it was so beautiful. And yeah. they were surprising all the time with everything and there were flares and balloons and fireworks and beautiful mu music and the night air show with um, fireworks, just everything. So this was like over delivering our tickets, really yeah. great. That's so amazing. Yes. All these balloons here, never seen so many balloons around me. Yeah. And, uh, and this was the great concept, like really such a great concept. You can still see hot air balloons behind us. Amazing. Yeah. Yep. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we are just speechless. Let us just say that we are speechless. Yes. Good morning from yeah. the camping site here in Leshno by the airfield. We had a good night, slept well and in the morning we woke up by the sound of a turboprop engine. <laughs> yeah. uh, they're actually dropping skydivers all the time. There are three planes and just taking off, landing taking off all the time and all the time there are uh, skydivers coming down. So yeah, there's very much traffic, traffic at the moment. already here yeah. in the morning at uh, now it's 10 but already at 9 even at 8 I think it started already uh, yeah but it's extremely peaceful and um, yeah the weather is great we had we were still at the fireplace until like 23 or something so it was later yeah 24 and it was very nice because there was like a like unofficial after party of pilots and uh, we could meet some really really interesting people hmm. uh, from here so it was yeah very very short but very exciting weekend i think yeah that's for sure they can they always make it somehow to pack so many activities in such a short time that you feel okay we've been here for two days or longer but now we were only on the air show for three hours which was crazy because there was so much happening and here we were only one day so it feels like much more yeah so yeah. now we will eat breakfast drink a coffee and then you know, like in two hours maybe we will go to the plane check it put our stuff inside and back to it yes the weather is great as, as i said there are no clouds nearly no clouds at all and very sunny so we have tailwind again today so it will push us a bit and yeah like two hours 40 maybe to fly back to the that's kind of all right yes So, we uh, prepared, or we are preparing now the plane. Almost done. Still need to check it. And yeah, our flight plan is scheduled or fired <coughs> uh, in half an hour. So I think it will be easy uh, that we will be on time. Much traffic, many skydivers. There's a uh, towing of gliders. Yep. And also normal traffic. So yeah, we will see. Just take off and away from here. <laughs> yeah, we we'll take off, then head to north, uh, to the north direction, uh, to leave via November. This is uh, the 80 set via November, and then we will, yeah, fly under the Poznan TMA and then to the yeah. west. This is the plan. Yes, and the way here was much easier than the way yesterday. They were driving us here, so we didn't need to carry all these uh, pretty heavy things. And they were, they are really like the sweetest people ever. So this was so great. Take a call Oscar Tango and you may uh, taxi via Alpha and report before crossing threshold 05 right, 205 left. 
Taxi via Alpha and report before crossing 05 right for 05 left, Delta Oscar Tango. Delta Echo Golf, Oscar Tango uh, on the holding point before on the 05 right and ready to cross. Uh, hold short of 05 right, there is to landing now. Holding short, Delta Oscar Tango. Delta Echo Golf, Oscar Tango, you may now cross 05 right. Crossing 05 right, Delta Echo Golf, Oscar Tango. Long and report when ready for lineup at 05 left. We'll report uh, ready for lineup with 05 left at Oscar Tango. Delta Echo Golf, Oscar Tango ready to line up runway 05 left. Delta Echo Golf, Oscar Tango 05 left is free for you. Lining up and taking off 05 left at Echo Golf, Oscar Tango. Good, so let's go! Okay. Instruments green has been live. So, as I've seen already in the airspace use plan before, the TSA 10 Bravo in front of us is not active. So, we already climbed to flight level 65, which will be our cruising altitude until Hamburg. And yeah, we are well, way above the clouds, and it's nice calm here. And yeah, so <laughs> we will spend the rest of the flight at this level until we reach Hamburg, where we need to descend again below 2500 feet to cross the CTR of Hamburg and then we are already back in Utah. That's the plan for now. Yeah. So we still have a bit to go to the border. Let's see how much. It's uh, like 36 minutes to the border, so yeah, that's it. Uh, we will have one frequency change still to Gedanks information. And but shortly after, we will already cross the border and change to Langen information. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we will keep you updated if something new will happen, so for the next 36-35 minutes I think it will be kind of event, uh, uneventful here, yeah. so see ya later. So we are above Hamburg now and it's cloudy as hell. Really crazy. It's weekend, good weather. So, as I said in a previous video, or maybe even at the beginning of this video, that Hamburg on the weekend by great weather is crazy crowded. And yeah, today it is. So many VFR uh, planes already here coming in and out, making sightseeing flights. Uh, yeah, we need to fly low here because of approaching traffic. What we see on the left side now, we had to have had to go lower here. From now on, 1,300 feet. There's one on approach to Hamburg Airport. It was a beautiful weekend and the trip was pretty easy, I would say. Despite of the end phase um, over Hamburg, there was pretty much traffic. 
but despite of that, I think it was very easy. Yeah. And yeah, it was great. I think we are looking forward to do it again. Yeah, sure. Next year we will be there. And the dot home and everything else, what will take uh, part in Leshnor, we are there. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So, see you in the next one. Yeah. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs>